Mankind has paid a hefty price for how we live now and for the democratic rights that millions of people around the globe take for granted every day. In 1914, the First World War began. Described as the war to end all wars, its effects were far-reaching and long-lasting. Help them, Dad! Help them! Prepare for battle immediately. The vast majority of these men had never even fired a rifle. In fact, they wouldn't have known one end of a gun from another. Yes, yes, yes! Gas, gas, gas! There certainly wouldn't have been a lot of time to react. Any delay would have meant the difference between life and death. Many of these men were in action for the first time. They faced incredible anxiety, fear, and for the huge number of unfortunates, death. The millions of men who fought in that war weren't just from the British Isles. They came from all over the world. Remember what you have been through and what you are about to achieve. You are doing this for God and for your nation. You will always go forward, never backwards. Men, may God be with you. Come on, men! Ordinary men, husbands, brothers, sons, the chap next door. Many with wives, children and families back home, scaled trench ladders to go over the top. We will never understand what went through their minds as they made their way towards the German machine guns that fired hundreds of rounds per minute straight at them. None of them are here anymore to tell us. Perhaps they quietly pray to themselves. Maybe they call out the names of their loved ones. They went down at an alarming rate. But still they went on. Still they went on. The men had to live like animals in filthy squalid conditions for four years. He sent out a force from the 4th Division. And it was horrendous. The attacking troops, mainly from the 2nd Seaforth Highlanders and the Royal Irish Fusiliers, haven't got a chance. And within minutes of trying to form up, the Germans sent very heavy and very accurate artillery fire down onto those troops. This was before the battle even commenced. I pull positions! <laughs> The Germans had to be flushed out of a series of defensive blockhouses, outbuildings and underground tunnels that surrounded the chemical works. Fighting in the area went on until the war was almost over in 1918. Every inch of ground was paid for in blood. Robert fought with incredible courage and deserved his gallantry award. He was not alone, as many of his pals also demonstrated their fearless bravery. From this evil wasteland, Robert Beveridge moved on, leaving many of his pals behind. I think it only fitting we take his medal to those pals. What's happened to them now? They're gone, sir. They're all gone. They showed no fear. They were like lions. 
like lions. They couldn't be rescued. Many of them lay dying of their wounds. They couldn't be saved. You're doing this for God and for your nation. happened to them now? They're gone, sir. They're all gone. This is not just any old war story. The emotional journey I've taken us through could never be repeated. There was nothing left of Robert, not even a photograph. Now he is immortalised, his soul at peace. Amongst the congregation somewhere sits his family. Somewhere. strength in union with the Lord and by means of his mighty power and after fighting to the end you will still hold your ground so stand steady build up your strength in union with the Lord and by means of his mighty power so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks for we are not fighting against human beings but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world. In the blistering heat of the French summer of 1917, he was awarded a gallantry honor, the Military Medal. Robert Beveridge, an ordinary man, lost for so long, now home, has been a remarkable journey. Until the next time.